Hey YouTube, Alex here. Today I'm gonna do another product tutorial. This is the Zilla Power Center. So for starters, plug in your unit. I have an outlet right over here and then flip your switch in the on position. Your default loading screen should be midnight on a Monday. And so this area across the top will be your days of the week. And then it should start in the off position. And so you change the modes on auto and we'll discuss those momentarily. You're going to hold the clock button down because we want to set what date and time it is currently. I'm filming this on a Saturday. So I am going to hold down until I get to the Saturday icon. Now, my current time right now I'm filming is actually 12.58 in the afternoon. So you can see I currently have it at 12 a.m. So I'm gonna hold the clock button down still and I am going to fast forward until I get to 12 p.m. And right now, like I said, it's around 12.58. So I'm going to hold down until it gets to 12.58. Alrighty, so now we have our default program set. I'm going to set it up to where you would have your lights click on at a certain time of day and turn off at a certain time of day for all seven days of the week because this is where the timers get challenging. We're going to hit program and you can see program one has Monday through Sunday. So we want to choose when our lights turn on, like our daylights specifically. So I'm gonna hold down hour and we're gonna let this go till seven, and eh, let's do 9 a.m. And so then we're gonna hit program again and this is when your lights turn off. So let's do nine o'clock PM. Again, holding down until we get to nine o'clock PM. And that's all you need to do to set up it Monday through Sunday. What's unique about this timer unit is that it comes with the option for seven different programs. So in a sense, you could program each individual day to have your lights turn on at slightly different times. If you guys want to see me do a video where I go into each program individually making different changes, let me know in the comments right now. Again, I wanna keep this video brief. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set our timer down, click the clock button, and now it shows you back on today's settings where we originally started. So what mode refers to on your timer is which outlets are running. If we look at the base of the timer, you have four white outlets on the right side and then four colored outlets on the left side with your top two being yellow. These indicate outlets that will be on during your daytime setting and outlets at the bottom, which are blue, which represent your nighttime outlets. So I don't wanna get into any controversial topics, but for example, uh, let's say you're using a ceramic heat emitter at night or those red lights, whatever you choose to use, this would be utilized for your nighttime bulbs and this would be your daytime bulb. So you have a basking lamp and a UVB bulb. We're gonna rotate this outlet. I'm gonna plug in a daylight bulb and a nightlight bulb. As I just plug these in, you can see I have this in the off mode. Off on this product represents your nighttime light. So if you watch, and I'm sorry if I blind any of you guys on camera, since I have this in the off position, it means all of these blue outlets are actually on because it'd be like the daylight bulbs are off. If I hit mode again, it switches. This is my daylight bulb right here to represent daytime. And then here is the thing that bothers people. When you initially set up your timer for the auto feature, so auto is your mode, which means it's following your program you set. So technically, according to this mode, my daylight bulb should be on, but the timer actually takes 24 hours to kick in. This is why basic reptile husbandry, have your enclosure set up at least a week before you bring your new pet home. Make sure your timer is running. Off, on, auto. Auto is referring to the mode where it's following your program. So after this timer runs for 24 hours, by 9 a.m. tomorrow, my daylight bulb would kick on. And then by nine o'clock p.m. tomorrow, my daylight bulb would turn off. And this night bulb, this red light that you see right here would be turning on or your ceramic heat emitter or whatever source you use for nighttime heat. You're probably wondering what purpose do these four outlets serve? So these are your 24 hour outlets. So no matter if it's daytime or nighttime or no matter what your program is set to, these will always be on. So let's say you have a snake 
and you're running like a little heat pad on there. And of course, with a heat pad, always use a thermostat. These are the Zilla on and off thermostats. I don't even think they make these anymore. This is just something I had on standby, for example. But you would be able to plug this in. This green light indicates this thermostat has power. And as you can see, I can switch to whatever mode I want random off on and just keep going back and forth. This thermostat does not turn off because these are the outlets that supply constant power. In my opinion, this product is very useful. It's a little bit difficult to set up compared to what normal people might be used to, like those little ones you just put in a wall and you turn the dial. But especially, I'm trying to think more towards like my turtle keepers where you might have heat, UVB, a nighttime heat source, and then maybe you have an aquarium heater, a filter, but there you have it. That's how you program the Zilla Power Center. Fairly easy step-by-step -step guide. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I have my email listed in the description below. Leave a like, comment, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.